What's going on guys? Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's another Thursday and that means I'm here to help you win another Forza Horizon 5 trial event. And this week we have Blast from the Past. It is a dirt racing event for retro rally cars tuned to be spec. And I gotta say, this was probably the easiest trial event I've had in this game to date. I don't know if it was just the car was good or just all sorts of favorable circumstances coming together or what. But this is the least stressed I've been about an event in a long time. I got on, I made the tune, practiced all three races, hopped into the trial event, and the first attempt won all three races. It was fairly simple. Uh, it's, it was actually very good to see. I like seeing dirt racing event, especially when you incorporate some sort of rally car. The car I decided to go with is a 1999 Ford Racing Puma. I made a tune for it. I'll show it on screen right now. It is called B700 Rally. If this was Forza Horizon 4, I probably would have used this car as well. Uh, it's not the fastest car you can use, but I think it's definitely the best handling car. At least it's on par with the Renault 5 Turbo, but I think this car handles just a little bit better. I, it's really not... It, even the speed's not going to really be negative to you at all in this, in this event. If anything, like the first half of Race 3, if you get to Race 3, you can kind of fall behind a little bit on the pavement section. Once you get on the dirt, this thing is going to absolutely eat anything and everybody um, on the dirt. Like you don't have to really brake hardly at all. You're going to be full throttle most of the time. Very, very little braking input if you have to brake, aside from like a sharp turn. But most of the time, you're going to be wide open or at bare minimum, barely, barely using the brake. But this thing is just an absolute grit machine. The top end speed's not the greatest, but it's not really going to come into effect. The transmission shifts really well. Which if you go back to my Horizon 4 videos, one of my gripes with a lot of the older cars in this game is when you shift, you have like that classic manual transmission feel to it, or like you can you can kind of feel where you have to press the clutch in, or is that hesitation? Uh, but this car is none of that. It feels like you're driving an automatic or like a dual clutch with paddles or something. It's instantaneous shifts, there's no hesitation. I think the only other car like that that you can choose from besides the Puma is the Renault 5, but all the other ones are gonna have that little shift hesitation where you, where you feel like you're pushing the clutch in. And the only way to really mitigate it would be adding like a high-end clutch, but it's still, it's still gonna be there no matter what. That's the main reason why I like this car. This feels faster, acceleration feels better. The grip is just unbelievable, like I mentioned earlier. Speed is not the greatest, but it's more than enough. Uh, I didn't have any issues at all. None of the AI were really that much of a problem. Um, granted, I did kind of have a little bit of a lucky situation. Half my team at the beginning had like stock untuned cars, so that kind of made the AI team have stock untuned cars for the most part. So there's really only one or two AI that had uh, close to the 700 max. So, but even still, this, this car absolutely ate wasn't an issue at all um it's definitely my recommendation for this event there's not really any other cars i like in the class too much mainly because of the the transmission feel but if i had to pick another one it'd probably be the renault 5 just because it's very similar to this but this is definitely i think the best car you can choose a lot of people are gonna pick cars that they like in real life like the subaru 22b or one of the Lancers or an Audi Sport Quattro or something to that effect, but it's just not going to be as competitive. They're going to be more speed oriented and have no handling characteristics probably at all unless they actually fine tune the suspension, add decent tires and that sort of thing. But uh, I'll go ahead and kind of elaborate on what I did to this car to get it to where it is today. I added uh, first and foremost I did an all wheel drive conversion, which is almost a necessity in this game. I added off road tires, which I still think is an underused tactic in this game, throwing on the off-road tires. They're very good. In most uh, scenarios, they're going to be better than rally tires on dirt, which is kind of, you wouldn't really think they are, but they are. They're very good. I put a 8-speed transmission on it. Uh, the race drive line, I did the full stage weight reduction. I added a turbocharger. I added a few other engine components. I put a rear spoiler on the back, tuned the downforce almost all the way down to 150 pounds of downforce, 148 is the lowest. So it's almost like the wing's not even there. You add the wing and you it give you like 15 or 20 more tuning points to mess with. So that's the main reason why I did that. Um, I think what else I did to this car. Racing brakes, the 
race or sport anti roll bars, whichever one's the highest option. Um, I put some lightweight wheels on it. It's really all I did. I mean, it's I think I still think this is the, the best car. Even if I I might try this again just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, if it was just that easy or not, but I still think this is probably going to be the car I'm going to use, even if it is more difficult. I think it's the easiest car to drive. You will not find probably a dirt racing car in this game that will be as easy to drive as this one with this particular tune on it. So hopefully you guys uh, can get that Opal Manta. It's a pretty neat car. I remember when they added it to uh, Horizon 4, a lot of people liked it. I believe it was in the... I think it was in the Rally Monster category in that game. Actually, it probably is in this game, too. Remember we had, um, like, 800 Rally Monster events. A lot of people used the Manta just because it was so fast. So it's it's a cool car to get. If you don't have it already, it would be a nice little prize to pick up. Uh, hopefully you guys, like I said, can get that done with ease like I did. If you need any help, feel free to hop into my Discord server. There's a link to that in the description of the video. You can hop in there, ask some people for some help on these events we have this week. If you need some advice or just want to talk about anything, or we're all going to be there for you. Uh, the share code will also be in the description if you missed it earlier on in the video. I'll leave a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. Let me know down in the comments what worked for you. If you had as easy of a route to victory as I did, which is very, very fortunate. Let me know down in the comments how everything fared for you. Hopefully it's quick and easy and seamless so you can get to your St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Go drink a pint of Guinness or whatever you're going to do to kind of keep in the spirit of things. Hopefully I'll see you guys next week for another video on these Forza Horizon 5 trial events.